Hi guys, Renee here. Welcome back to the Brethren. Uh, this is going to be my TBR for March. Uh, March, oh my god. May, can you tell this year's gone a little bit too quickly for me? So May is a bit of a big month for us here in the house household. Um, we have a three-year-old birthday happening and then in... Um, June will also have a five-year-old birthday happening, so that's going to be fun. <laughs> but when it comes to books, I did have an amazing TBR set up. I have books I'm so excited to read. They're up over here at the moment because I have decided to toss that TBR out. That'll probably be my June TBR, to be honest. And instead, I am going to be reading the entire six nominees for the best novel for the Hugos 2024. So I am a Hugo member. I'm not a participating member, as in I'm not going to the event. But I am eligible to vote and to nominate for 2024 and 2025. So, well... Vote for 2024, nominate for 2025 nominees. So I've got the six books here. I don't have the books yet. I have one coming that I physically have bought. The others I'm probably going to rely on the Hugo packet. So every year when you get, when you are part of the um, membership, you will get a packet, a digital packet, usually with the e-books of the novels, most of the novellas, novelettes, the the comics that's been um, the comics that have been nominated, or the, the entire list. If you go to the Hugo's website and look at what's being nominated, you generally receive, if not the entire book, you'll get an excerpt. So usually enough for you to garner whether or not you think it's worth voting for. So the books I will be reading, I shall pop an image up here is uh the adventures of almina al sarafi by shannon chakabotti uh the saint of bright doors by veja can Kandaskira. forgive my bad aussie accent some desperate glory by emily tesh starter villain by john scalzi Translation State by Anne Leckie and The Witch King by Martha Wells. So of those books, I have purchased a copy of Translation State because of them all, I am fairly certain that is going to be the one I like the most. It is a sci-fi when most of the others are fantasies. Some desperate glory, some desperate glory is a sci-fi, and starter villain. I guess you would consider a. Um, I don't know what you would call it. I'm not really a John Scalzi fan, so it's going to be interesting. <laughs> but anyway, those are the six books that I will be reading in the month of May. Hopefully, I am ten. I am, as I said, going to be relying on the Hugo packet. So hopefully, it comes soon. It's not out yet. But I plan to read most of them on my Onyx. Yes? No. Forgive me, we just had a toddler interruption. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I plan to be reading most of these books on my Onyx books, which is um, effectively an e-reader tablet. And... Uh, Except for Translation State, which, as I mentioned, I do have a copy coming. I'm also seriously considering purchasing a copy of The Adventures of Almina El Sarafi, simply because I know it's a big, chunky book. <laughs> but we'll see, we'll see. I might start reading it on ebook, and if I like it, I might go and buy the physical copy. Anyway, so yes, uh, are you? have you read any of these books? Are you going to read any of them? Um... What do you think about the nominees this year? I'm not too impressed, unfortunately, uh, I will be honest. Um, but that is also partly my fault because I was eligible to nominate last year and I did not read enough books released in 2023 to nominate for the 2024 awards. 
So yes, that is something I'm trying to change this year, but let's uh, see how we go with it. <laughs>